Hi Fox, welcome back to some more EA Sports PGA Tour. Right, we're going to jump in and finish off the Corn Ferry Tour tournament that we're on at Whistling Straits. Now, I did do the four rounds, full four rounds. As you know, tell you what, let's just jump in here and have a look. As you know, we shot minus 11 on the first round. I shot minus four on the second round and minus eight on the third round. So I'm still playing on the middle difficulty. So after this round, which is the final round, I will bump it up to the hard difficulty because minus 11, minus 8 it is a bit too easy. But before we do that, I was actually doing some challenges this afternoon before the missus came in from shopping and I had to turn the game off. They haven't actually collected these rewards yet. So let's jump in and have a look what we've got. So the basic challenges, these are from... If I remember right, these are the coaching ones. Yeah, so I've been doing some of the coaching ones. I've been doing most of the sponsor ones just to get sort of more cosmetics and stuff like that. So we're going to jump in and we're going to open some of these up, see what we get out of these. Let's have a look. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> so we've got some XP there. We've got um, an EA towel for the bags. So I've done some Adidas ones. I've done some Ping ones. And I wanted to get some new clubs and stuff as, as well. So more XP. Oh, a couple of nice tops there. Hey. That's because it's a female top. It just puts on the default top that I'm wearing. So that's not too bad. So we've got another Adidas one here. Okay, some cash and some more XP. 5,000 XP. Okay, some more cash and some more XP. I was kind of hoping to get some bloody clubs and stuff. Where's my clubs and that? Oh, legendary XP, 5,000. Oh, we've got some nice baseball caps there. Okay, small ping. Challenges are great. I love doing the challenges. I mean, because there's, no, um, there's no driving range and there's no um, uh, sort of practice putting course as well, they're quite good for practice because... It'll put you on a hole and you're, you're shooting like five five times into the same green and things like that. So you, you've got to get like, you've got to hit the green five times. You've got to get close to the pin three times within 15 feet and one within 10 feet and stuff like that. So it's pretty good practice because you're taking the same shot over and over again. But it would be better if we had like a driving range and a, like a, a putting green to practice on. Oh, some more XP. And we've got a nice club there as well. G425 Fairway Wood. We've only got a couple left to open. And then we'll jump in and get this started. And some more cash and some more XP. And some more cash and some more XP. So, a lot of crap there. <laughs> but it has put me up to level 39. I was actually level 38, so I've got another two skill points to put on as well. But we'll jump in and we'll get this started. As I said, after this round, I will boost up to the hard level and we will start playing on the hard level. Now, a few people in the chat have asked me what I thought about the game. I'm not going to go in and do a full blown review of the game, but what I think of the game. I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying it more than I thought I would. Now, going back to the original sort of gameplay we've seen with Apex Hound, I was a bit I was a bit wary of it. I thought it looked a bit clunky. I thought the sounds were a bit off. Uh, you had Apex Hound and you had one of the developers playing. The, the club sounds off Apex Hound's clubs. They, they didn't sound very nice. It sounded very generic. And you still get a, a quite a generic sound with the the putting in the way that the the ball falls into the the hole that's very not a very nice sound off it let me just take this shot and what i also thought as well your backswim i thought the backswim was very very slow looking now when i was doing some of the challenges i played with um scott scheffler on some of the challenges and his backswing it's a lot quicker than your player's backswing I think when 
you're doing your players backswing. Now I pull back here. And I'm already back, but you're, you're actually waiting for the animation to catch up with your backswing. When you're playing Scottish Shefflers, it's a lot quicker. It's a lot more. It feels a lot better. So I wish they'd kind of speed the backswing up a little bit. Now, I'll never say, I would never say to anybody that, yeah, you should buy this game. This game's great. But as I said, I think it's a lot better than I originally thought it would be. Now, let's see where we are. Um, Finesse. Let's put that up there and go in. That should be all right. Now I'm seeing hitting a lot of perfects. Well, more perfects than I was. But I'm actually getting a little bit better at the game, I think. Well, that's not too bad. Right. Little chip shots. I hate the little chip shots though. Um, I'll just go with a little. I'm gonna go with a pitch shot there, but I think we're gonna to have to go with the. Oh, where the hell is that going? I think we will have to go with the little chip shot here, but we'll bring it all the way back. Now, I do we should be able to pick up the par from there. Yeah, so as I was saying, I would never suggest to somebody, yeah, you should buy the game. But as I said, I'm actually enjoying it more than I thought it was. Yeah, there's, there's still some stuff in it that needs to be sorted out. But the way I see it, they had to bring it out last week. It's called Road to the Masters, so they had to get out of the week of the Masters. So I still think it was brought out a little bit too early. So I'm kind of hoping with a couple of um, updates, a couple of patches, the, the game will play better. Like when you're on the green, some of the putting... You've got, you've got these ghost breaks, you've got phantom breaks, the, the ball will go totally different direction from what, which way the, the break's going and stuff like that. So that kind of stuff needs figured out as well. It needs to be sorted. Oh shit, look at my swing. Bloody hell. That was terrible. So I think a lot of this stuff can be sorted out with patches. Now, with the online play, I'm not a really big online player. I've got quite a select group of mates that... I'll jump on and we'll, we'll have a, a good laugh on team speaking, things like that. So I don't really take much to do with the online play. And uh, let me just drop this down to a iron to try and get it over this. It should get over that, I think. Let's put a little bit of high loft on it. Another thing that surprised me as well, with the sort of storefront, with it being AA, I thought it'd be a, a lot of pay to win. But the only thing you can buy with real money is cosmetics. Your legendary specs and all your specs and stuff like that is actually bought with in-game cash. So that's a pretty good thing. And as I said, I thought with EA, it would definitely be pay to win. Now, the only thing you can buy with real money, it, but I still wouldn't say that's pay to win, is tickets to enter the online tournaments. Now, with the online tournaments, you still have to perform. So if you're crap at the game, it doesn't matter how much money you're going to spend, you're not going to like win tons of cash, in-game cash, if you know what I mean. So it's good in that aspect. Also, the... Let me just take a shot. Within the, the store itself, you've got the menus and all that. Uh, I would prefer it if they were categorized instead of just scrolling through everything. Like your clothes, tops, trousers, shoes, baseball caps, instead of just scrolling through everything. Oh, that's a nasty, nasty, nasty pup. Oh, that's not bad. Come on, turn. Just a little bit. A little bit off there, but that's not too bad. We should be able to pick up... What am I going for here? Par? Or birdie? Oh, that was another par. Yeah, so all in all, I think the game's really, really good. It's a bit of a slow burner. I mean, you do start off in the... the amateurs, the US amateurs. Uh, you go through that. 
as you, you start leveling up and that's what I really like about the game is the leveling up you got your all your different skills all your different skill shots and the more you add to your attributes and all that you can actually tell you can actually see the difference in your golfer you can actually see him getting better and better as you, you saw her leveling up so I really do like that aspect of the game um, six iron five iron uh, six iron I think let's get back to just a drive we'll go with a seven iron maybe I think and we've got that wind against it as well so what I'm going to do is just kind of hit the center of the green here oh shit how did I hit three minus three point seven percent Still made the green though, wow. That was a bloody short. That was a really slow swing, that one. Oh, I just got finished um, watching the Masters as well. How good was that, John Ram? Really, really good. Really enjoyed watching it. It was a pretty... Um, Brooks Kepka didn't push him a little bit more though. Uh, which way is this going? Everything looks like it's going left to uh, right to left so that should be okay yeah so it was nice to see him when some really good golf being played out there today it's nice to see him um, phil mickelson as well and brooks kepka even though the, the guys are from live it was good to see them up there the other one patrick reed i uh, don't really care about him i think he's a bit of a tosser that guy <laughs> But yeah, it was nice seeing Phil and Brooks playing pretty well. Especially Phil. I mean, what, he's in his 50s now? And it's one of the lowest scores he's shot in a long, long time. Yeah, so it was really good to watch. Okay, what we got here? We are on hole four. 496. Right. Oof, that was a massive underswing. I need to start concentrating. Mind you, it is a little bit late at night. It's like four to three in the morning. You could probably hear my voice. I'm a little bit tired, but I wanted to get this done. I was truck I was gonna actually do it a lot earlier, but I was just too busy watching the masters. Right, well, got a little hybrid here. And what is a rough 83 to 92? We should be good. Just smacking out here with this. Oh yes, nice, on the green, lovely. Yeah, so the game itself, as I said, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the, the challenges, I think the challenges are fantastic. Really, really enjoying the challenges. There's so many of them. There's a lot of them that are just kind of copy and pasted those on the different courses, but they are good. Like I said, they're quite good for practice as well. Oh, that was so close. Oh, I've got the commentary turned off, haven't I? I forgot all about that. Usually when I'm just grinding away, I'll just turn the commentary off. So when I'm doing like quick play and just going on playing 18 holes on a course and stuff like that, I'll turn the commentary and all that off because, yeah, can't be annoyed with it. <laughs> but when I'm doing like the career mode, I do like the, the commentary on because I, I do like what they're saying. But once you kind of get used to it, I think you, t you turn all that off anyway. And back to the game itself, I think the, the presentation, the way the courses look is absolutely fantastic. It's the best golf game, best looking golf game that I've played. Well, it is sort of next gen, so it's bound to be, isn't it? And the commentary, the, the commentary is absolutely fantastic. But again, I think once you've played so many of the courses and stuff like that, it'll probably start repeating. Oh, what the hell? It's another really, really slow swing. 3.3%. That was another really bad swing. Yeah, so the, the commentary is not kind of generic either. I mean, there's a few times I've been playing and I've had like, say, three birdies in a row. And the commentator would actually say, 
oh, oh, he's gone for four birdies here. He's had three birdies in the last three holes and stuff like that. So that is really, really good compared to like 2K. I think that it's done absolutely really, really good. Right, I'm just going to hit little six hybrid. Should I go for the green? Uh, the pin's right close to the front, so it's going to go right over the back anyway, because I'm going to have to go in there with the wood. Yeah, I'd have to go in there with the five wood. The hybrid might make it, but it's still going to go right over the back of the green, so let's just play it over here and leave ourselves a, a nice little pitch shot into the green. So, to me, the career mode is the bread and butter of this game. I think the career mode is really really well done but again how much longevity will that have if you've what you've as soon as you go through all of it it's the same as 2k23's career mode and once you've done it once you don't really bother with it after that that's what i'm thinking about this game how much longevity is it going to have for me i'm not sure but at the moment i'm really really enjoying the game a lot more than i thought i would Now, I probably should have been in there with a little finesse shot. I guess it stopped there, uh, stop it a little bit quicker. Okay. So, as I said, all in all, I really, really am enjoying the game. Now, what a lot of people are doing as well, and I suppose it's natural, you are actually comparing it to 2K23. I mean, I was doing that at the first, when I first started playing it as well, and I was thinking, Oh, the swing's not as good as 2K23. The putting's not as good as 2K23. It looks better than 2K23. The commentating's better than 2K23. But when you start judging it on its own kind of merits and not comparing it to 2K23, you will actually, I would say, enjoy the game more. Like I said at the start of it, I think the backswing compared to like 2K23 is just totally different. Some of the physics are a little bit different as well um, from 2k23 so i've kind of tried to stop comparing it to 2k and i, I seem to be enjoying it a lot more now as well ah that's better a little bit of an underswing there but hitting the perfect a little bit more concentration now with my my skill level as well as you can see i just carried 292 yards there and my power's up quite high so i don't think i actually need any more power so what I've started doing is putting a lot more on my approach, shots, my control, my accuracy, stuff like that. Because I think if you're hitting 320, 330, 340 yards, I think that's good enough. So you, I wanted to start putting it into my, like I said, my approach shot, my irons, my short game, stuff like that. And I think that's what's actually helping my game come along. And I think that's an, another fantastic part of the game is the leveling up process. Right, what we've got here, 72, it's 10 feet down. We've got a nice finesse shot going in there. So let's put a little bit of high loft on. Right. That should be okay there, I reckon. Oh, now before I started this, I actually put some skill points into my, um, I think it was my short game. And I've actually got more spin now. If you noticed my finesse shot there, it was actually gold. So that's like the, the uh, sort of master setting of it. So I think you get like bronze, silver, and then gold. And I'm up into the gold now. So I think that's why I'm getting a little bit more spin than what I was originally. Right. So that's probably going to take me Oof, a little while to get used to as well. A few shots, I think. Because I haven't actually played since I put the skill points on. But the, the leveling process. I mean, there's a little bit of leveling in the 2K23, but not as in-depth as this. And the amount of skill shots that you're getting as well, I think, is really, really good. So all in all, I'm loving the game. <laughs> I'm really, really enjoying it. So, I mean, if you like sports games, you like golf games, you will like this. But what a lot of people are doing as well, some people are playing the 10-hour the, the trial. They played the 10-hour trial. They played it for an hour, played it for two hours and thought, oh, 
this is crap again comparing it to 2k23 i did the same with the sort of 10 hour trial the first few rounds i played i was like oof i don't know if i like this but as i said uh said to a few people in the comment section it is a bit of a slow burner but once you start leveling up once you start getting the different skill shots and learn sort of the way the game the, the, the swing and all that works the game is really really good nice we get the perfect there oh that might be a little bit too far no that's absolutely bang on look at that what a shot get in there so there you go a little overview of the game i didn't want to sit and do a massive um sort of review of the game go through all the menus oh crap and all that kind of stuff i just thought I'd tell you how i felt about the game what i think i liked about the game what i didn't like about the game now as i said the pattern I think they need to sort the pattern out with these phantom breaks and the ghost breaks. But like I said earlier, I think they pushed the game out pretty quick. They had to get it out for the Masters Tournament. So hopefully, some patches, they will be able to sort some of the, the issues out. I mean, it's not got a lot of issues, to be honest. I would, again, I would like to see the backswing just sort of speeded up a little bit. The pattern maybe sorted out some as well. Uh, they're the main two issues for me. As I said, I don't really play online. So I've seen a few people moaning about the lack of online sort of play, but that doesn't really come into it for me. So I'm not that fussed about it. Right, drive, what we got? Par four, so I don't really need the power drive here. That'll do lovely. Again, as you can see, I'm carrying 290 hitting well over 300 yards so i think the distance is doing me fine and plus my next skill level up on power is going to cost me i think is eight skill points so I've, I've just started distributing them through approach and control and short game and stuff like that right what we got here um i think 10 feet down And we've got that window as well, so let's put that to about... Mm, can I go down another club? Yeah, we can. Let's try that, I reckon. Again, a little bit of an underswing, but that should be absolutely fine. That's going to be absolutely bang on, actually. Look at that. Get in now. Okay, what are we on? It's minus 24. We've only had one birdie so far. So I'm not actually killing it on every round. The, the first round was the best round. As I said, I hit minus 11 on the first round. And that was the best score I've had in the game so far. Second round, minus four. Third round, minus eight. Minus eight was another good round. Okay, what we've got here? Another par four. Right. Let's just smash it down there again. You can hear them cameras just clicking away there. Again, 302 carry. And that's going to run to what? About 340, I reckon. Oh, 330. So that's not too bad. It leaves 124 to the pin. 125, nine feet down. Let's bring that back. A little bit of wind there as well. Look at that. Right. That should be pretty good. A little bit to the right there, though. I noticed as well, with the approach, if you put high loft on the approach, you get more spin on the approach than what you do with the finesse shots. So if you want more spin on the ball, use the approach instead of finesse. Going? Is it going? Oh, so close. So we're going to win this anyway, because we're 
way too far ahead for anybody to catch us, so you can just kind of rip through this. Okay, only minus one after nine O's. Don't know whether I should be bumping it up to hard. <laughs> yeah, look at that. We're about 13 shots ahead. But would I be hitting that if I'm not got if I haven't been leveling up, if I haven't got the specs and all that as well? So I don't think I would be. Because this is like a, an, an amateur tournament. I think that's why I'm hitting so well that it's not on the course isn't set to sort of like tour specs if you know what I mean you know what I think I might just bring that down with you would I don't know I think let's try that oh yes nice a nice turn on that there. Yeah, I don't think the driver would have went around that corner that well. Yeah, like I said, because we're in the corn ferry tour, we've went through the amateurs, and now we're on the corn ferry tour. So we're still sort of, we're, we're still classed as an amateur, but my skill level is up on par with most of the professionals. I'm up to 90 now, I think it is, and Scotty Scheffler's like a 92. So if I wasn't that high up with skill levels and the skill specs and the skill shots, I probably wouldn't be hitting this well in like the corn ferry tour right that's 15 feet up six mile per hour wind right that should be okay oh that's going to be nice might spin back a little bit though But that's not too bad. Right, see so if we can get this. Get in. Oh, just keep missing them. I've seen me be, I mean, with my iron shots and all that and my drives, I seem to be hitting a lot of perfects. But you look at my putting, I seem to be hitting them a little bit fast. And I think that's contributing to pushing it a little bit to the left, if you know what I mean. And this is another thing. You, you've heard me moan about this before as well. I really wish they would do some of these transitions if there was a, an option to turn them off because they are a bit of a pain. Okay, is this part five? Yep. So we've got the power drive on. Nice. There you go, 316 yards carry. That's not bad at all. Yeah, so I don't think I need any more power. Right. Three wood power approach. We're gonna hit the top of that. Might just go with what the hell. Oh, get up there, approach. Would. It was 17 feet down, 5 mile an hour wind. I don't really want the power approach, so if I just go with a normal approach, it's going to hit the top of there, I reckon, and hopefully carry on down towards the pin. Go on, get up on the green. Oh, damn it. A little bit short, so I probably could have. I think if I went with the power approach there, it would have landed on the green fast and probably just skated right over the back. So I'm going to be left with a little pitch shot here. You notice as well now, my swing, because I'm trying to hit the perfects, I'm swinging out a little bit fast, so it's actually throwing my line off just a touch. Now, when I was doing the just the 0.8%, I was virtually perfectly straight all the time. Right, so let's put that back just to seven feet up. Let's put it to about there. Nice. 
Oof, that was not good. I should have went in with a maybe a little flop shot there, I reckon. Okay, right. A little bit right to left, a little bit left to right. Oh crap. <laughs> Look at my line, there's a squiggly line. That's better. Yeah, I'm not too I'm not shooting too well on this one. But I'm, what I'll probably do is I'll jump onto the hard swing and see how I do. I'll probably play a couple of 18 holes just to see how I'm doing on it. I haven't actually even tried it out yet, to be honest. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a par three, 185, 10 feet down. Let's bring that back to there. Um, a little finesse shot. Yep, I think maybe that should be okay, I reckon. The wind's going to help it as well. Go on. Not too bad. Stop pretty quick. Right. Oh, again, look. Oh. Putting. The hardest part in this game. Yeah, way too many transitions. Well, I just want to say... Um, Thanks for all the support in the comment section and all that as well. These guys are great. The amount of comments I've been having over the last sort of weeks have been absolutely brilliant. Got a lot of new subscribers as well. So I want to say thanks to the, all you new subscribers out there. And of course, all you guys that have been following me for quite a while. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Let's smash this one down here. Well, we've got 400 yards. Yeah, see, only 0.1% of the swing there that time. I was hitting 0.8s, 0.5s. I seem to be hitting a lot of perfects in that now. So I am getting better. Got 343 yards off the tee. I'll tell you what, my, my throat's absolutely killing me. Like I said to you yesterday on that other, well, the other day on that other video, I'm still with this little bit of a cough. It's really, like my throat's dead raspy. Right. Pitch shot. Um, let's have a look. Oh, look at the size of that circle on that flop shot. Let's go with a little finesse shot. But, oh, no. Right, um... This is tough, so I might have to do like a three quarter swing with this. Unless I just go in with a pitch. I'm gonna have to go with a pitch. I'm gonna have to aim over here, I reckon, though. Try and catch that slope. Oh, come on, turn, turn, turn. I still went a little bit further than I thought it would. Right, let's see if we can get one of these. Ooh, we've got a little bit of right to left right at the start there, so... Finally! Hey, got another birdie. Nice one. Good thing is we haven't had a bogey yet, so that's not too bad. We're still doing pretty well. Okay, what are we on? 14th? 14th. Right. So, uh, the wind's against us, so that should be okay. We'll just hit the driver. That should be good. I'm going to 
kick a little bit to the left here. It should still be on the fairway. Nice. Now, I don't know how high your uh, sort of power level goes up. So, like I said, I think I'm in maybe a 90, something like that now. And I didn't want to start adding too much to my power because I don't know if you get, you're going to start getting diminishing returns. I don't think you can just keep adding power and power and power, if you know what I mean. I think once you've got the, the control and stuff like that, I don't think you can, you're can. you going to get too much further distance-wise. Lovely, a little perfect. Oh, it's going to spin back. Damn it. Yeah, I'm not used to this yet. That finesse. I had the, the bronze one, I think it was. And I, I, like I said, I've leveled it up to the gold, so I'm getting a lot more spin on it now. But again, that was a little bit of an uphill there, so that's probably why it spun back a little bit more. Turn. Go on. Oh, oof. Bloody hell. Turn just a little bit too much right at the end there. So that's another part. Okay, par four. 503 yards. Yeah, also, um, let me just take this. At the Masters, I think that, that young lad, uh, Sam Bennett, he did really well. He was getting a little bit teary at the end there when he was walking through the crowds, uh, like smacking their hands and stuff. I, I, th I found that pretty weird, actually. Uh, you seen Brooks Kepka and that when they were going through the, you had the patrons on either side and they were going through slapping hands and I don't mind the fist pumping, but like slapping the hands and stuff, you don't know where their bloody hands have been. You know what I mean? <laughs> Especially at this day and age with like COVID and stuff. I wouldn't be slapping the bloody hands or I would be slapping hands. And then the next thing I'd be doing, I'd be going into my bag and getting hand sanitizer out. The amount of people's hands that Brooks Kepka touched as he was going through the crowds. I was like, oof, where the hell's his hands been? You know what I mean? So, so that. Right. Let's put a little bit of loft on this. Um, got the wind against this, so it should be okay. Yeah, that should be all right, I reckon. Oh, that's going a little bit left. Should hold the green. Yeah, nice. Yeah, if you remember right, first couple of videos you've seen me doing, if I was going in there with a five iron, it was just rush, rushing right through the green. Uh, now I've got a lot of control and accuracy and stuff on my, my irons and stuff. It's a lot better now. Oh, that's turned too much. Now again, is that because I've hit a fast of 0.3%? Is that pushing it over to the left a bit? It might be. Yeah, what I've done, when you're going to your swing basics as well, You've got three different swings. You've got slow, fast, and fastest, I think. Because I was used to 2K23 swing, which I thought was quite good, I put it on the fastest. So I think that's why I was hitting the 0.8% and stuff like that. So I put it down to the middle one. I think it's a lot better now. As you see, I'm hitting more perfect and stuff like that. Or I'm hitting like maybe 0.3%. Watch this, I'll probably hit like... <laughs> 1.3 or something here. Oh, oh, you got to be kidding me. 2.5. But see, if you look at my swing plane, my swing line, that's because I'm trying to flick it instead of push it forward. Right, still hit the green easily though. Um, Do we go with a 5 wood? And pull it back, maybe. Put some high loft on it. Let's try that. There we go, see? That's a lot better. Oh, get up. 
No, nope, it's not made it. Wow, I actually thought that would have been on the green easily. A little bit of an underswing, but it was only 0 point something. I wasn't that far off it, so I thought that should have made the green. Now this little shot, this little pick shot, I think that's brilliant. It stops really, really quick on the green. Too quick. <laughs> I didn't look at the percentage there. I've got to look at percentage. I should have probably put that past the, the, the pin. Nice. That birdie? Yes, we've got another birdie. We're only minus three, but again, still no drop shot, so that's pretty good. Especially on a course like this with the amount of bunkers. But I think that pick shot out of a bunker is very, very easy. I mean, like again, I wasn't really oh yeah I wasn't really looking at what I was doing with that bunker shot so that's probably why I came up a little bit short uh, three wood oh knocked down um, five wood tell you what why don't we bring that in a little bit from the left hand side just so we're, we're not Going in against this bump here. Um, five wood. Five mile an hour wind against us. Wood. Might go with three wood and just bring it back a touch. And I also underswung on that on purpose because. That's what I thought would happen if I went with a full three wood. <laughs> I should have just stuck with the five wood. Right, let's go with... Let's go with this long flop here. I don't want to try and pitch shot because you've got this ridge here. And that's probably where I'd probably aim it for a pitch shot. If I hit there, it's just going to kick off to the right. So we'll go with this little flop here. But you, again, you see the long flop, a big circle, you've got a massive circle, that's your dispersion. And if you look on the little flop, it's a lot smaller, but I can't reach. So we're just going to go with the long flop here. Oh, absolutely spot on, nice. Okay, we've got par there. On the final hole. And we'll win this tournament. Can't remember how many tournaments there is on um, the Corn Ferry Tour, to be honest. I really hope, do hope they bring this, uh, bring a patch out that lets you choose one, two, three, or four rounds. Because I really don't like playing these four rounds. Never did it in 2K. I don't like doing it on this. Um. Will the driver run out? Tell you what, let's just bring the driver back a touch. Stick with it. Mind you, it's 26 feet up. So I think we should actually be okay. Let's bring it in a little bit from the right. Oh, that stayed out to the left. It's turning. Just got away with that. Almost in that first cut there. Okay, 206, 18 down. So it's actually playing 200. Uh, five iron. A wind as well. Let's try that. Don't know whether to try and swing this maybe a little bit less. Yeah, that looks okay. Again, lovely. Look at that. Stops beautifully now. Oh, got another birdie. Lovely. And there we go. 27 under after four. I mean, that's not bad after four rounds, I suppose. 
I mean, you look at some of the, the TGC tours and all that, some guys are they're probably in, what, in the 40s. So, I mean, yeah, it's not too bad. 27. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, look at that. Little trophy. Nice. I think that's my first trophy. <laughs> no, we win the US sandwiches, didn't we? That's right. Oh, let's jump out of there and we'll see what's coming up next. 19,000 XP. Oh, look at that. I'm nearly level 40 already. Right, there's a championship Wolf Creek. We'll get that played in the next one. Again, like I said, guys, I will bump it up to the hard difficulty just to see what it's like. So, um, what was I going to show you? Uh, do, 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 do. I think I wanted to see the power. I think, yeah, there I am. Look, go back. I'm on 91. So that's not bad overall. So sort of power, I'm, I'm on 91. If you look at my skills, show you what I've been kind of doing with my skills. So as you see on my power there, I've only got it up to, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. But as you see that one there, next one's going to cost me eight points just to get up to the next one. I think I'm hitting a, a decent enough distance now. Oh, no, I don't want that. But if you look, what I've been doing with this, I, I really need to put some recovery on my approach shots. But as you see, I've got accuracy control, accuracy control and recovery on my short game. And I could probably do with a couple more on putting. So that's where my skills are going. So there you go, guys. I'm nearly level 40. Uh, power level 90, 91. Doing pretty well. As I said before, the game itself, I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, if you, you like golf games, like sport games, I think you'll probably enjoy it. If you're on the fence about it, I'd probably wait for a sale. But again, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, be safe.